I recently learned that I was writing web APIs completely wrong. Well, okay, not completely wrong, but there were a few things I was doing incorrectly. Like for example, whenever creating a new resource, you know, I would create that resource using whatever validated information came from the request. And then a lot of times I would just return a response, usually a JSON structure of whatever entity I just created. And you know, that works. But is it technically correct, especially if you are striving for a RESTful API? Because what we've actually done here is created a resource, in which case a 200 isn't really correct. It's 201. That means that it was created. And if we have a web interface, well, we could take it a step further and we could also include the location header so that we could redirect the client to whatever route that we wanted. But that's just one of the things I was doing wrong. Another is when we have an asynchronous process, it's kind of going to be the same thing, in which case we get data from the request, but we're going to ship it off to a backend process. We don't really care for that process to finish now, but we do need to get back to the client so that we would do something like this. We would use our async process, dispatching it with the request data that we want it to use. And once again, that would be one of those times I would just simply return a response. Usually it would be a JSON structure that would have some kind of message or something along those lines, but that would be it. Thinking that, okay, a 200 is going to be sufficient here. And technically it's not correct because yes, it's okay to respond with a JSON structure or really any kind of data that makes sense. But what we really need to return as far as the status code is a 202 because that means it is accepted. We have accepted the data. We're doing something with it. We'll get back to you later. And, and this is the thing that always would get me because a lot of times you need to delete a resource or maybe you need to quietly update one. In which case, what do you do? You know, you do whatever it is that is requested of you, in this case, deleting, but then what? Do you return a message saying just deleted? Do you return an okay? Once again, that's really not what we need to do. We need to return a response that has no content and the status code is 204. And you know, it really doesn't matter what you are writing your web API with. It could be Laravel, it could be ASP.NET, it could be Ruby on Rails, it doesn't matter. But if you are writing a RESTful API, strive to use the correct status codes.